What safety gear protects astronauts in space? Robbie Kearns manages NASA Langley Research Center's space operations. So the material that was on the bottom of, say, the Apollo spacecraft uh, actually burned off as the vehicle re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. This process is known as ablation. And there was enough on it to protect it throughout the peak heating times, which allowed it to protect the spacecraft until it you know, splashed down in the ocean. The Apollo spacecraft was designed to be used only once. Today's shuttles are designed to travel to space over and over again for as many as a hundred missions. Re-entry is still an issue for the shuttle. The same extreme conditions of space still affect this craft. So how did the NASA engineers solve the problem this time? They turned to a substance that exists in the most extreme conditions on Earth, sand. Meteoroids may usually be small, but they're screaming fast and have a huge amount of kinetic energy. And when it enters our atmosphere, it's moving incredibly fast, up to 70 kilometers per second or more. Typically, from any one location, you can see a few meteors per hour. It may not seem like much, but when you add them up all over the planet, you find the Earth is getting pelted to the tune of about 100 tons of material a day. 